Howdy folks, howdy. This is Butch Robbins. In this time of remembering Earl Scruggs and celebrating his birthday, I would like to share with you my memory of my first encounter. When I was a young fellow, I lived over near Asheville, North Carolina, and uh, been playing the banjo for maybe a year. I was about 13 years old at that point. And the old fellow who taught me the three-finger roll, Homer Israel, and his buddy Boomer Long took me to Spartanburg, South Carolina to see a country music package show. Well, when we got down there, it's at the Civic Auditorium, I think. Anyhow, we went through the ticket taker, went through the lobby and everything, and when we opened those double doors to walk down one of the aisles to our seat, Lester and Earl started off on Flint Hill Special. Those tuners going and everything. It was so exciting. I'd seen them on TV. I'd heard their records, but this was live right there seeing them, and it was so exciting to me. Well, they did their show, and Mother Maybell came out and joined them. After that, they had an intermission, and, and Josh and Jake and Paul were walking up down the aisle selling songbooks and giving away Martha White coupons. Anyhow, the show starts back up. Bill Anderson, the star of the show, uh, came out, had his hit record of Still, did all that, and Reno and Smiley wound up closing the show. Anyhow, when it was over, I can remember I told Homer I wanted to try to sneak back there and, and meet Earl. So he said that was okay. So I, went, I remember going up the left side of the stage and passed a guy I thought was a guard, but he didn't say anything to me, and made my way back to, till I found Lester and Earl's dressing room. When I did, all the guys are putting up their stuff, you know, getting it all hauled out to the bus. And Earl was over. He's just putting his banjo in the case. I went up to him and said, I said, Mr. Scruggs, my name is Butch Robbins. I've been playing the banjo about a year, and that was just a really, really great show. Your playing's wonderful and all that. And he thanked me, and I tried to make a little bit of small talk with him, and he was putting his banjo away there and... and, and uh, I said, Mr. Scruggs, that's a great banjo you got out there. Have you ever considered selling it? And his response to me was, or would I ever find me another? <laughs> thank you, Earl Scruggs. Thank you so much for sharing your musical gift with us.